Enough! The next bullet goes in your head. You might be wondering how a grandma ended up looking down the barrel of a rebel's gun in the woods of India. Well, it all started like this. Welcome to Grandma Rambo from 1C Productions. I'm Rebecca Seitz, founder of 1C and Podpair, the company that created the Grandma Rambo puzzle to be enjoyed while listening to this story. If you have the puzzle, we'd love to see pics of your work in progress on the Podpair Instagram. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, please visit relaxwithastory.com to learn more and get yours. And now, on with the show! Happy Ned Day to you. Happy Ned Day to you. Happy Ned Day, dear Petra. Oh, <laughs> Happy Ned Day to you. You too. Now, blow out your candle. <sighs> no evidence of disease. Oh, the most beautiful words on the planet, aren't they? You didn't have to do this. Five years ago today, I walked into that chemo room for the first time, scared out of my mind. You didn't look scared. Oh, we Brits never do. <laughs> right. And there you were, this tiny bald woman reading a trashy romance novel. Trashy? Grinning ear to ear while poison dripped into your veins. Chemo, poison, potato, potato. <laughs> And you said, well, Welcome to the break room. <laughs> and you told me how this was my one day a week break from real life that would eventually get me back to full time real life. And if memory serves, I then handed you my spare paper back. Mm, full of bed hopping and blushing cheeks. And you escaped for a while, didn't you? <laughs> oh, I did. I'm glad we went through break time together. I love you for that. But you would have been just fine. Mike was waiting out in the lobby every time. Well, Mike is no Fabio. Husbands never are, are they? Speaking of decrepit husbands... Ouch. How's Sam? Old, tired, boring. So, uh, the same? <laughs> Sometimes, I think... Marrying a man 35 years older than me wasn't the wisest move a girl could make. Shocker. Hey, it works for the girls in the novels. They marry an earl or a duke and their love makes the decades between them disappear. Nobody ever mentions memory issues and loss of balance, do they? No. Nor do they get cancer spots removed, hair plug treatments or incontinence. Why, Petra Rosenthal, are you saying there are differences between your 45-year-old self and your 80-year-old husband? Don't gloat. <laughs> Never. He is a good man. Mm -hmm. He nursed me through cancer, just like your Mike did for you. But now, five years later... Sam is driving me completely insane. Oh, sweetheart, I'm sorry to break it to you, but husbands drive their wives insane, no matter how old they are. Check the cave paintings. It may look like a man killing a bear, but that's really a woman clubbing the crazy out of her man. So why do we do it? Why do we marry them? Your life here in Florida is better than it was in Lithuania, isn't it? Mm, yes, it is. You're right. Coming to America and marrying Sam was good. I just, I don't know, I'm, I'm so tired all the time. Wife life, living the dream, right? Dream, nightmare, tomato, tomato, <laughs> let's call the whole thing off. Oh, fuck up. I don't know about your doctor, but mine said it could take a decade to fully recover from all that chemo and radiation they flooded us with. 
so it's not my husband exhausting me then. Maybe, maybe not. Is Viagra involved? <laughs> I'm sure it is. I don't know. Maybe my season with Sam is coming to an end. After standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with death, I do not want to live life halfway, Brenda. Nor should you. But nothing has to be decided in this exact moment. Eat your cake and drink your tea. You're so English. Everything can be fixed with a cup of tea. Well, usually. Do not walk away from me, Eddie Gordon. I'll walk anywhere I want to in my own house, Jackie. Walk right up your own backside if you don't even care enough to discuss this with me. This isn't a discussion. It's you yelling and me getting yelled at. You think I want to be yelling? I have no idea what you want. Can we call it a night already? I'm tired and I have to be at the office early tomorrow. Of course you do. You always have to be at the office early. If you want to keep a roof over our girls' heads and clothes on their backs, then yeah, I have to be at the office early. Oh, please. You can skip out on that place for a year and we'd be fine. Maybe in England, where everybody gets health care and help? Not here in the good old USA. Here, we work for a living. Then perhaps we should go back to England. You love it there. I'm not moving to England. You haven't lived there since you were a teenager. It's probably nothing like it was then. England has been there for eons, Eddie. It doesn't change. Uh, Brexit, anyone? Are you seriously moving this fight to an argument about England's politics? No, I'm pointing out once again that you don't argue in the land of reality. Ah, how's that for reality? Something is wrong here. You know it, I know it. Can't we just know it out loud together? I swear. If I had known you would grow as crazy as your mother the older you get... You're bringing my mother into this now? Can we please give it a rest for tonight? Fine. You okay, Mom? I'm fine. She's fine. Sure, like Diana was fine with Camilla? Or Hillary was fine with Monica. Or Rachel was fine with Chloe. They were on a break? Maybe she's fine like... Girls. What? We can't acknowledge out loud that it's more like World War III in here than Happily Ever After? No, you may not. You may instead help me unload this dishwasher and say thank you so much for this wonderful home in this beautiful town, Mom, and this fabulous childhood you've given to my sister and me. Okay, all that, yes, but just so you know... We're grown now, which means if you want to talk... <sighs> Thank you, sweet ones. 18 and 19, to be clear, is not grown. If I want to talk, I'll go to Grandma's. Right now, I simply want a clean kitchen, so... Yeah, yeah, we're on it. I've come to plot Eddie's murder. Out at the pool? Uh, we'll need paper and pen. Maybe we should keep it in our heads for now. Wouldn't want there to be evidence, right? Oh, behold, my proudest achievement. Thanks, Mom. Sit down, sit down, and tell your mom what the cheeky sod has done now. I don't know. Sure you do. It's not any one big thing. Oh, death by a thousand cuts, is it? It feels like that. He's just never around. And when he is around, he isn't really there. His, his head is at the office all the time, no matter where his body is. He's a hard worker, the American way and all that. Like I mind hard work. I am your daughter, right? It's like he prefers work, though. What? 
You mean to being with you or the girls? Yes. Oh, that is a trouble. So, what are you going to do about it? Still growing your wolfsbane? Right out there on the corner. See the purple flowers. Seems a touch extreme, though, poisoning him with flowers. <laughs> you, the woman who carted me off to Spain when I was three because you heard the beauty of the mosaics there rivals only that of the men and didn't move us back to England for three full years. Think I'm being extreme? Well, there were a lot of mosaics to see. Who barely let me unpack before telling me about a crazy music festival happening in America. So we hopped on a boat across the pond and then you marry the hippie you fall for there. Ah, uh, the U.S. Festival, California. Now that was a good time. And drag him back to England to live. Well, I wasn't ready yet to leave England for good. That woman is telling me I'm extreme to want my husband to actually want to be around me and our kids. But I'm not so extreme these days, and neither is that hippie I married. Seriously, you brought us all to America and built a life here, and even kicked breast cancer's ass at 55. Triple negative, and you survived. I'd say that's extreme, Mom. My dear Jackie, there is a difference between surviving and thriving. Enough of this. Let's make some tea, shall we? You've been in America for decades. Well, you can take the girl out of England, my dear Jackie, but England will never be taken out of the girl. Come along now and let's work out your marriage. Uh, the Wolfsbane? Oh, uh, I don't have nearly enough there for this, and maybe the tea will help us think of a less lethal option. Fine, but we should keep that as an... Uh, wait, why do you know how much it would take? Mum, you know I was kidding, right? Mum? My boss is an idiot. So quit. Where am I going to get another job at my age? You never know until you try. Uh, don't start. Hard day at the country club. Heil Hitler. Never let it be said that I didn't jump at the orders of the Fuhrer on the board. <sighs> Do we still have any cookies? Pantry. Third shelf. Want one? No, thanks. Uh, would you like to go out to dinner? It's been a really long day, and I could use a night out. Really? I'm bushed. Why do you always want to go somewhere when I'm tired? Oh, why are you always too tired to go anywhere? Do I have to jump to your orders, too? Of course not. Never mind. You stay here and put your feet up. I think I'll take myself to a movie. Sure you don't want to come? You know I hate movie theaters. Right. What's there to eat? No idea, dear. Order yourself a pizza? <sighs> Infuriating man. Never wants to go anywhere or do anything. Just sits on that blasted couch, staring at that blasted television and griping. Oh. <sighs> Enough already. Please say a command. Call Petra Rosenthal. Hello. Petra? It's Brenda. I'm in the car. Headed out for some fun, I hope. 
More like I needed to get away for a while. Want to meet me at the Yabba Island Grill? I'll be there in 20. Sounds good. Oh, oops. What? Is everything okay? Yeah, I just ran over an armadillo. Oh, no. No, no, he was already dead. So the worst was over. Precisely. <laughs> well, see you soon. Petra, over here. Wow, packed house tonight, huh? Isn't it? Snowbirds, snowbirds everywhere. <laughs> I went ahead and got your usual. Did Sam mind you leaving? Mm, nothing beats cold, dark beer. Sam was out like a light hours ago. I'd have thought you would regularly be slipping something into his dinner drink by now. Something that comes with a four-hour warning, perhaps? <laughs> I wish. His heart won't let me anymore. Ah, oh, I see. I guess the party really is over there, then. Yes, I'm 45, Brenda. I'm grateful for Sam and the life he's given me in this country. But I want to live again, you know? Be wanted and watched and touched. Oh, sweetie, trust me, I know. You do? I'm 59, not dead. Mike isn't... Mike is as asleep right now as Sam. Oh, men. I have to leave Sam. Or have an affair. Something. No, affairs are a messy business. So is divorcing a man 35 years older than you who basically ordered you out of a catalog. It's been more than that, though, hasn't it? It was in the first few years, yes. We had such fun together. Oh, parasailing. Skydiving. Cruising all over the world. I still have the postcards you sent me from that African safari. Oh, Sam and I had to apologize to the people in the next hut on that trip. I was uh, rather loud. <laughs> Maybe you just need to plan another trip. I'm afraid it's a no-go. He simply checked out. It's as if my cancer didn't just wear me out. It wore him out, too. I get it. Maybe he's so afraid of losing you again, he's choosing to lose you on his own terms. Enough about me. Did something happen with Mike? Hmm. Do you see that couple over there? Which? At the bar, in the navy blue shirt with the palm trees all over it. Ah, yes. They seem to be hitting it off. <laughs> See how he looks at her. The rest of us might as well be on Fiji for all he's aware. Good for her. Exactly. Exactly what? That is good for her. That man sees her. Nothing else in the room matters. Mike used to look at me like that, and I to him. I see. Oh, I don't know what to do. It's been nearly five years since we won, Petra. As Jackie puts it, we kicked cancer's ass. When is Mike going to re-engage with our life again? Maybe he's tired like Sam. Sam is 20 years older than Mike or me. Maybe it's a male thing. Whatever it is, I'm at my wit's end with it. So leave him. What? Leave him. I'll leave Sam. We'll set off somewhere together. Find a new adventure. <laughs> Don't tease me. Who's teasing? You said it yourself. We kicked cancer's ass. I moved halfway around the world and started a new life. So did you. We can do it again. I'm nearly twice your age. No, oh, you're not. And even if you were, who cares? Let's do it. Maybe we should discuss this when I'm not nursing the third cocktail of the night. The third cocktail is exactly the time to discuss this. Mm. Could I have another? 
we are making important life decisions over here. <laughs> we might be losing our bearings here. Or just getting them back. Come on, Brenda, let's go somewhere. Let's have an adventure. Uh, well, uh, maybe. Yes, I'll take a maybe. <laughs> And it might have ended there. Just two broads discontent with how their lives were turning out and talking big about leaving their husbands. But... As life will often do, my story took a twist. You've been listening to Grandma Rambo from 1C Productions. This story is based on the novella by Pauline Hayton and is written, produced, and directed by Rebecca Seitz. Gail Van Cott stars as Brenda. Additional characters were brought to life by the voice talents of Boyana Stefanovic, Shakuto Sumi, Lisa Campbell, Caleb Jensen, Emily Bonafuente, Isabella Rosado, and David Marcus. Post-production services provided by Zischer LLC. Special thanks to Katie Ricketts for casting assistance and Jonathan Kirkland for promotional management. For more information about Grandma Rambo and other 1C shows, visit JustOneC.com. That's J-U-S-T-O-N-E-C dot com. <laughs>